Hey everyone, so I have a new tutorial. I'm using Sinful Colors um, Out with a Bang. It's like a fl um, flaky nail polish. And this stamping plate is so adorable from Clear Jelly Stamper. I will leave a link down below. CJS97. I seriously wanted to use everything on it. It was like no joke. It took me forever to decide. So I'm using my double-ended stamper for this one because the images are so small. So I'm going to go in and start stamping some clouds on a few of my nails and then outline it with the blue. But later in the end, you'll see that I changed it because I wanted it to be a little bit darker. So I'll leave the second number along with the first number, this one, 76, down below. This plate, like I said, is seriously so cute. The little animals, and it almost looks like, it reminds me of patchwork, or like it should be for a children's book. It is adorable. I wanted everything on my nails. I'm definitely gonna be using this over and over, and I didn't even wanna take this off because it was so cute. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below or you can DM me on my Instagram um, and I would be happy to help you or to answer any questions if you need help with something. Um, like I said, I'm always here to help. So I'm done with those two nails for now, and now I'm gonna start with this little panda bear image. I started off with white, so that's the first layer. And I'm gonna put the hot air balloon basket over it, so I'm putting it pretty low down on my nail. But usually, you can have this little panda bear holding a flower or those balloons. Um, if you refer back to the card that comes with it, it gives you different little options, but this one, I'm gonna make it be sitting in the hot air balloon. So then the second layer is black. And obviously you can make these any color you want. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a different one, but like with purple and pink little animals, I don't know, cause I love purple, but I don't know, we'll see. And then the third layer is pink to give it the cute little feet, the cheeks so cute like I cannot get over this adorable plate my girls even want some little images on their nails so I'm like yes of course because I love doing their nails so much fun and then the outline I wasn't sure which one I should do but I went with black or I mean white because the eyes were black so yeah that one I might experiment with later if I use it again which I will because it's adorable so now I'm gonna do the hot air balloon and I am using number 31 for this and it's perfect brown and like I said I'm gonna make him sitting in it so I'm covering up his bottom half so of course I had to have purple in here somewhere so I'm going to do the hot air balloon I did it twice but I only did it once on camera to make it more opaque So 
So this is the other off-white that I was talking about. Um, not really sure what color to call it because it's not gray, it's not white. It's almost like a really, really light brown. I'd go with cream. Anyway, so I'm going to layer that and then I'll be back. So now I'm going to go back in and stamp some cloud images with the white polish. And now I'm moving on to my last finger. I'm going to go back and add more clouds to that one too. So this one I chose to do the little rabbit <clears throat> and I'm going to do it holding the balloons. So I'm doing some pink ones just to mix it up. And then you want to go in with the second layer. It's the outline. I chose to do brown. And now for the rabbit. I chose not to do white um, because the clouds were white and I almost went with black but the panda had black, so I went with a mix of brown. And now you go in with the second layer, which is pink, and then the last one, which I chose white to make it stand out a little bit more with the brown. So now finishing off the mani with some more clouds to stamp all around. I added a few more to the hot air balloon and now I'm adding some to the rabbit. And so when I mentioned earlier I switched to the blue polish, I switched to number 7. This one's a little bit darker, um, which makes it stand out a bit more in the clouds. So I just went over all of them off of camera and just did that layer to all the clouds. So I'm using Clear Jelly Stamper Smear Knot Top Coat. And then after this dried, I added a matte top coat, which you will see in the picture in the end. So enjoy, have a great day. Hope you like it. Bye.